It's almost as if um, he can't understand why uh, everyone else can't do it. It's a bit like Jim Clark, who yeah. apparently couldn't understand why no one else could go as quickly. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he is very good. testing at Silverstone and particularly going through Beckett's at a very fast right, left, right sequence of corners and the speed that he carries into the corner, I mean I stood there thinking I don't believe what I've seen. He is so fast into the corner. Well it's, it's nothing sort of extra special, it's just a way that he controls the car almost with a throttle instead of where I think the majority of drivers that I've known, um, someone like Damon, I know David, Gerhard as well, Mika Hakkinen, exactly the same. When they brake, you normally you brake, you change down the gears, and then you might go on and off the throttle, and I think Ayrton was the big, biggest example of that. When he used to be in the middle of a corner, his throttle movement was so quick, and he was always ba -ba 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 on the throttle, where Michael has this brake in, changing down, then he's constantly on the throttle straight away. Even if every driver was driving a white car with a white helmet, we could still just about see the technique of Michael Schumacher. It wouldn't be easy, though, and to get a much better idea, we need to look at data recordings taken from the controls, from the steering, particularly the throttle, and also, of course, the brakes. And we've had a rare opportunity to obtain data from the British Grand Prix qualifying from both Michael Schumacher and Johnny Herbert's car. This blue trace is the throttle. When it's right at the top, it's full throttle, and so now we can see the accelerator building up, a section of flat-out running, before then lifting off and then breaking down for the next corner. It's important with a Formula One car to be progressive with the throttle, and so we don't see it just going vertically up, we see it progressively increasing, and that's particularly important through this corner, bridge corner, because that is taken at 160 miles an hour, and technique is all important to save time. Michael Schumacher approaches on full throttle with the blue line at about 160 miles an hour. Eases back and then he progressively increases to be on full throttle on the exit, before then lifting abruptly, of course, to brake for Priory. Now comparing this with Johnny Herbert's throttle position, we can see that in fact Herbert keeps on full throttle for longer. Certainly no lacking in bravery, but then he has a much bigger lift to slow the car down more before slightly raggedly increasing it back to full throttle again. Now looking at the speed trace, the blue line of Michael Schumacher shows his speed increasing all the way up to 160 miles an hour and then in fact it really rather levels off all the way through the corner hovering around the 160 miles an hour point before dropping abruptly away again as he breaks for Priory. Now looking at Herbert's speed trace, he's a little slower out of the previous corner, but gradually makes up ground, and so he's virtually as fast on the very approach to bridge. But because of that much bigger lift on the throttle, his speed then drops down quite significantly. He's five miles an hour slower in the middle of the corner. Now looking at the steering trace, we can see just how close to the limit the drivers are. On the approach to the corner, the trace is fairly smooth. But then in the middle of the corner, we can see from the zigzag lines just how much correction Schumacher is having to make for tiny slides that can't actually be seen, not obviously anyway, from the outside of the car. Now looking at Johnny Herbert's steering input on the straight, it's much the same. But in the middle of the corner, he's not so near the edge, and so the trace is smoother. As a result, on this corner alone, Schumacher was two tenths of a second faster than Herbert. And in fact, in qualifying over the whole lap, beat him by one and a half seconds, or 100 metres at the end of the lap. I think the main ability I have is that I have a good feeling for the limit, a very consistent feeling for the limit, and I'm able to run the car um, for almost 100% on the limit. And that's probably the, the difference in style, where someone has uh, the ability to do that in, in the entry of the corner, but not in mid-corner, and then the exit again, or the other way around, and I, I can almost do this uh, all the way around the corner. <laughs> 